Right, it's been a very cold night. More snow flurries are expected across England today as the Met Office has issued an amber cold health alert for several regions until lunchtime on Friday. Yeah, the icy blast follows the aftermath, of course, of Penk, which left many areas flooded, leaving many unable to return to their homes. Well, let's get all the very latest from weather journalist Nathan Rao, who's here in the studio with us. We even had snow in the capital, which you don't see too often yesterday. Some of it settling a little bit and quite bad down in the southeast. Yes, How's we did. it been overnight? Right, it is very, very cold now. The Met Office is warning we are going to go into a significant change in the weather because the theme really going forward is going to be cold. Now, as you mentioned, the UK Health Security Agency has upgraded a yellow health alert to now amber in parts of the country, which is really the increased severity of it. And that means that whereas yellow is for people who are more at risk of, of cold weather um, events, the elderly, those at risk, mm. uh, amber is really the, the entire population and a wider net of the health services likely to be affected. So we are about to get very, very cold. Well, right. What do we mean by cold? The Met Office is saying minus nine in rural Scotland and minus seven in rural Wales. I think if the Met Office is saying minus nine this week, you can knock a couple of degrees off that because with the wind chill, it is going to be even colder. How, what... how normal is it to get those sorts of temperatures it... in places like yeah, rural Scotland? I mean, Scotland? it sounds a lot. It's not, it's not unusual in Scotland to get minus nine at this okay. time of year. I mean, we've had minus 15 before up there. We've had minus 20 up there before. It is January after all. And we do have a northeasterly coming in from Scandinavia. Scandinavia. So, whereas we've had the westerly influence of storm after storm after storm, ending in Storm Henk just, just um, a few days ago, now we are getting northeasterly, and that means mm. cold. But it does, of course, mean problems for the people that are flooded still. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course it does. Yeah. Um, how long may we have to put up with this? With the cold or the flooding? Well, uh, well, let's start with the cold. The cold is likely to hang around. Now, this week, the forecast is for high pressure over the United Kingdom, just to the northeast which means cold and relatively dry. That doesn't mean we won't see the odd snow flurry. As we saw in London yesterday, there was a flurry of snow in the afternoon, so there may be flurries through the week, but it's looking dry, sunny, sunny at times, but very, very cold with a cold northeasterly wind. Now, as we go into the weekend, this is where it's going to change because that high pressure to the northeast is going to move south and a low pressure over Scandinavia is going to build and that is going to increase the risk of snow. So we are all watching this Gosh. weekend onwards for not just cold, but snow. Maybe a lot of it. We don't know yet, but that's what we're watching. But in terms of the cold weather holding out, it looks like through the rest of the month. There's nothing mild on the way. Mm. Oh, and the, yeah, I mean... Sorry the, about that. No, no, and the problem with this, those people who are already flooded yeah. and things... Right, it might be dry, yeah. as it were, but then we've got the thaw. Yes. Now, um, the Environment Agency has more than 100 flood alerts and 100 flood warnings still in place, and they are warning that, really, for the next few days, those affected areas, which are the areas along the River Thames, the River Trent, the River Neen, um, which are all suffering from floods at the moment, those areas are going to continue to be at risk of flooding through the coming days. Now, with the cold temperatures, it just compounds the misery, because with the clean-up operation, you know, and getting if you're flooded, the last thing you want is for temperatures yeah. to plummet, which they are well, going to do. Well, also, the risk, mm. presumably, where there's a lot of surface water and then freezing temperatures, you've yeah. got this risk of ice, Absolutely. and that makes it incredibly dangerous to drive, because, of course, you can't see it. Yes. Um, and you, I was actually reading tips last night about using cat litter on driveways if people oh, didn't yeah. have grit, because it was just reduces the risk <coughs> of, of falls and slips and broken bones, and also your car skidding yeah, out that, of oh, control. Yeah. I mean, the one thing you shouldn't do is hot water, because that's just going to freeze. And okay. certainly not on car windows and yeah, things. You, yeah. know, you know, scrape it off. Don't, don't. I've seen people out you know, with kettles <sighs> on their windows thinking, good grief, don't, don't be doing that. Mm. But no, we are going into a very cold period of weather. Um, so wrap up and get mm. ready, possibly, possibly for snow from the weekend. I mean, there might be a flurry before yeah. then, but um, that's what we're looking at. Oh, lovely, Nathan. See, yeah, snow, snowmen nice could you. soon be on the horizon then. Yeah. It's something yeah. to look forward to. <laughs> yes. There are some benefits. You know, we always report this as a terrible thing. And yes, Yes, it is inconvenient, and yes, it does. You know, I think there's an increase in heart attacks, isn't there? Yeah. About when temperatures drop, but also but for a lot of people, like it. it brings a lot of joy. I think it's w mm. worse as well because it's coming in the aftermath of the floods. I mean, we no, are yeah. literally oh, coming yeah, off yeah. the back yeah. of heavy flooding, yeah. and so yeah. Yep.